Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another chat with me, Dr. Antonia. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 helpful period hacks. And this video is inspired by a very good friend of mine. So thank you. So a little biology, period or menstruation is basically the flow or the release of blood from the uterus. This happens every 28 days plus or minus seven. It differs in every woman. First hack would be to track your periods. You can use the period apps or a calendar. This is useful for various reasons. In case there are any irregularities in your period, if you're trying to get pregnant, being able to know your fertile window, or just in case there's any anything that you need to pay attention to. Secondly, start taking painkillers like ibuprofen or whatever you use two days before your period to help elevate severe cramps. So for people who get severe cramps, if you start taking your painkillers two days before, it can help you relieve the symptoms before they come. And even if you do not track it, immediately you see, you know, the signs begin to come that day, take your ibuprofen or take your medication or take your painkillers, or whatever you use to help with pain. And just to add to this, if you have severe, heavy menstruation, if you have severe dysmenorrhea, I advise that you see a physician because there may be an underlying ailment. So if you have pain that you cannot stand or completely makes you weak or whatever it is, you should probably see a doctor. And if you have bleeding in between periods, and this is also where tracking your period is helpful. So if you're bleeding in between periods or you have irregular bleeding, please see a physician because it may be something else causing these symptoms or this irregularities in your menstruation. Three, start exercising before you get your period. This can help with blood flow, which can help with relieving you of the pain and helping with the flow of the period. And it can also help with your mood. It can help with decreasing the symptoms of PMS and it can help with bloating. Number four, water is your best friend. Drink tons of water. You do not want to be dehydrated when you are on your period. It can cause dryness and it can cause pain. Number six, ginger. Some components of ginger help to reduce prostaglandin, which is basically a pain hormone. So drinking ginger can also help with cramps. Number seven, getting a heat pad or using a warm towel and placing it on your lower abdomen. This gives such a good relief and it helps you to feel better and it helps with pain and discomfort. Number eight, if you use tampons, do not forget to take out the previous one before putting in a new one. This can lead to something called toxic shock syndrome and can be life-threatening and can also cause infections. So please always remember to take out the previous tampon before putting in a new one. Number eight, Always have an extra pad, tampon, and panties with you, especially if you're going to have a long day. If you have heavy periods or in case of leakage, this can be helpful. And number nine is in case you have a heavy flow, you can always line your panties with an extra liner. You can use a panty liner or an extra pad in case of any leakage. So those places or those parts of your underwear that don't have or the pad does not get to, use a liner on those areas to prevent any leakage from spilling and staining your clothes. And finally, number 10, in case you've stained your clothes or your bed sheet or whatever, hydrogen peroxide is good and also salt can be helpful with warm water to remove the stains. And because I'm feeling a bit generous, I'm going to give an extra bonus tip, which will be rest and indulge. Indulge because you can have so many cravings during this period. So, but when you indulge, don't take too much sugar because sugar can actually cause you to have painful or severe cramps. So indulge, but careful with your sugar intake and rest. Listen to your body. When you need to rest, rest. When you need to sleep, sleep. 
thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions if you have any comments any suggestions send me an instagram dm or an email and i'll be sure to respond to you don't forget to like to share to subscribe and i'll see you again next week remain blessed bye bye